there. Okay. I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We're here on like location in Colorado. This is our second video, and this is my other cousin-in-law, Leah. Uh, say hello to hello. the camera. Lean over a little bit so I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great job on this. Uh, she, like her brother Austin, just uh, had worked this up just a few hours ago. So uh, we're just throwing this together as a tribute to Michael Jackson. And uh, we sure appreciate all of his music, and uh, we just want to uh, give thanks for all the, the wonderful music and uh, memories. So let's start with this song here. Leah's going to act as my student here as we uh, learn this. And again, as the, the other video, we have a keyboard here, and I'm using a keyboard sound. I'm using a actually a bass sound. And a lot of times when you use a bass sound, a bass patch on a keyboard, the, the treble will sound kind of like a string patch or a synth uh, pad. Which, uh, which really works well. So that's what we're using, <clears throat> along with the drum beat. And we've got it about uh, 96 beats uh, per minute, which is a little slow for this song, but it's good to go a little slower when you're first learning it. But we're going to start with an F sharp here. Uh, go ahead and show us that there, Leah. All right, uh, F sharp. And then we're going to, let's change to piano so we can hear a little better here. All right, go ahead and hit it pretty hard. And let's do it, uh, let's do it. Let me change the octave so that it sounds like the real thing. All right, there we go. So we have F sharp. Middle C is here on the keyboard, okay? So we're, we're down this far. All right, so F sharp. Then we're gonna move up to a C sharp, okay? And we're not gonna do any right hand yet. Let's just learn this bass line because actually the, the song begins with just the bass line without the, the right hand. So we're gonna have an E after that. Very good. And then an F sharp with the thumb. All right, uh, and you really need to finger it that way with pinky, middle finger, pointer finger, and then thumb to reach it all because of all the sharps, okay? And you don't have to reach for it. You can play the F sharp and then move over to the C sharp, all right? Leah has long, big, uh, long finger, not big fingers, <laughs> long fingers, big hand, so she can reach it. Uh, so if you can't reach it, just go ahead and feel comfortable starting here and then moving over as you get to the higher notes and then moving back and forth like that. All right, so let's go back to the F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, we're going to come back down to E, back down to C sharp, and then B, and then C sharp. And that's the pattern we want. Bop, 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 bop. So really steady eighth notes. And notice how Leah's putting a little space in between. Bop, 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 bop. Kind of like if you were doing a string bass, you'd have that little separation. Da, 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 da. There we go. And this measure is exactly the same thing, same exact notes. All right, so play that for them about the speed. Bop, bop. actual song uh, does the bass line about eight times or so before we bring in this right hand synth pad. Uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start this, the right hand here. We have uh, A, and we'll do it here but since we have transpose, there we go. C sharp and F sharp, and that's actually an F sharp minor chord, all right? And we want to play it short, boom, and then come off of it. Don't hold it down, let it go, and then we're going to move up to a G sharp minor chord, which is B, D sharp, and G sharp. There we go. Good. B, D sharp, G sharp. <clears throat> Moving up again. And, and again, this is middle C, so we're right in the middle of the piano here. C sharp, E, A. And then back down to B, D sharp, G sharp, which is the same chord we did right here. All right? There you go. So it's a little syncopated. And you want to make sure you line up the left hand with the right hand there. All right, and you don't really have to count the right hand because if you play the left hand in tempo and fit the right hand where it goes, it'll, it'll be right in rhythm. So now let's do it extremely slow. Okay, I'm going to give you each note, Leah. All right, here we go. So first chord, right hand, left hand, play it and stop. Boom. Then the C sharp and the E. Play together here. There you go. Now do, do the F sharp here. Now play that chord and stop. There you go. Notice how that sounds kind of funny. Uh, when you isolate it, okay, sometimes things will sound a little funny when you isolate them by themselves, but when you're going in the normal uh, tempo of the song, it's going to sound just fine. So let's start again, we'll keep going. So first chord, C sharp, E, all this together, stop there, now E, C sharp, B, C sharp, now we're going to do this chord with the low F sharp, so let's move up to C sharp, E, A there, there we go, and then left, left, we're going to play this together, good, back down to E, very good, now let's do it one more time from here, and I'll just let you go to, there you go, that's it, and I'm 
I'm sure you'll realize when you play it slowly, it's a lot different than playing it up to speed. Sometimes you can play things up to speed, and then when you slow it down, you can't do it. Well, that's a good sign that you don't really know it if you can't play it slowly. So it's always good to go slower and learn that. Now, it does this quite a few times. Uh, and then there's another chord. There's a chord change. I'm going to check my time here. We only have 10 minutes. <clears throat> Doing good. When it changes, uh, and on the lyrics, when he sings, do you mean I am the one, right after he sings I am the one, that's where you're going to change to this chord. Very similar to this one. In fact, it's exactly the same. We're just on a different chord. So let's look at the, the, the chord change here. B, F sharp, A, B, A, F sharp, E, F sharp. You're going to do this measure here two times when you do it. And then you're going to go back to this pattern. Okay? So she just showed you the left hand there. Now let's do the right hand. A, D, F sharp. All right? And you have A, D, F sharp again. Now put them together for me really slowly. Together here. And then just left. F sharp, good, and then just left, A, good, and then together here, I got you crammed up there, sorry about that. <clears throat> and there we go. Together, and then F sharp, E, F sharp. So you do this block two times, and then you're going to go back to this uh, section right here and do this. All right? <clears throat> so let's go back and do this one one time. So this is after the lyrics start. Once you, you play this and the, and the singing starts, and you go to this chord after, you, uh, after he sings, I am the one, you play this two times, and you go back and play this only once. So do it slowly for us one time. Good. Then he sings, you know I am the one. Then we go back to this and do it two times again. And I actually I have you cram it. Yeah. And then you go back to this and you'll do it again for another verse. Now this is this is also what you're gonna play on the, the chorus part, Billy Jean, when he starts singing Billy Jean. That's the way a lot of Michael Jackson songs are. You have one simple little chord progression or bass line and it goes through the whole song. So there's really not much to it. Uh, there's one other little section that we'll do on the website, and that is webpianoteacher.com. Uh, <clears throat> you can look me up on there and, and uh, find tons more videos that are not on YouTube. Um, my website, webpianoteacher.com. You can also find me on facebook.com slash webpianoteacher. Uh, just click on friend request, and I'll add you as a friend. All right, see you guys later.